like sweet, you're going to love these cinnamon rolls. There's just no way you're going to be hungry after having these. It's virtually impossible. Welcome back to the Anabolic Hub, where we make anabolic deliciousness. We're back inside my kitchen today, and we're doing another original recipe, anabolic cinnamon rolls in the air fryer. Another single serving recipe. I've already done one that you can meal prep out for the week. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely go check it out. I'll put a link in the description box below. But this one's gonna be one of those quick recipes. We can make a single serving, gonna prevent you from overeating. Gonna be something that's definitely gonna keep you satiated. It's high in protein, definitely gonna get you to the next meal. It's gonna be ideal for any shredding plan, any main gaining plan, and definitely any weight loss plan. So, with no further ado, let's get things started by having a look at the ingredients. Here we go. All-purpose flour, vanilla-based casein protein powder, baking powder, ground cinnamon, plain non-fat Greek yogurt, almond milk, sugar-free syrup, swerve, granular, swerve, confectioners, vanilla extract. We are just cranking out the single serving air fryer recipes. If there's any particular recipe that you wanna see, please comment it down below. I'll take a look at it, see if there's something we can do to make it happen. But let's get back to today's recipe here. We're going to be doing yet again, mixing together some dry ingredients, mixing together some wet ingredients, and combining the two for some anabolic deliciousness. So we're gonna get things started here by mixing together our dry ingredients first. First dry ingredient we have is 40 grams of the all-purpose flour, pre-measured in on the money, of course. Next up, we're gonna need 25 grams of our vanilla-based casein protein powder. To the gram, in. Depending on how sweet you want your cinnamon rolls, you can use anywhere from five to 10 grams of a zero calorie sweetener. I'm gonna use Swerve Granular today. I'm gonna put in the full 10 grams because I like my sweets sweet. Then we need two grams of our baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. And then our last dry ingredient is going to be two grams of the ground cinnamon. After we have all of our dry ingredients in our small bowl, what we're gonna do here is mix it all together and add in a little bit of sifting magic to make sure we disperse all of the ingredients evenly across the entire bowl. <laughs> And regardless of how you decide to mix together your dry ingredients, you definitely want to make sure you get them well incorporated with each other. I've noticed a few times when I've tried this that the cinnamon does get stuck in pockets. So just make sure you just really get in there. Make sure all of the ingredients are well dispersed around the entire bowl. You don't want to get one shot of cinnamon in one bite and then no cinnamon in another. Next, we're gonna start mixing together our wet ingredients. There's only two of them. First one up is going to be 75 grams of our non-fat plain Greek yogurt using our negative scale measuring system. I know I say it all the time, but it's worth pointing out with what we have left on our spoon of our Greek yogurt, gives us 75 grams exactly. The last thing you want is to miss out on some of your wet ingredients by not using this spoon to mix everything up because then your ratios are gonna be off. There can actually be a significant amount of the yogurt that ends up on the spoon that you're taking it out with if you're so choosing to use the negative scale measuring system. And our second and last wet ingredient is going to be the almond milk. It's going to greatly depend on your casein protein powder, how much of this you have to put in. I recommend you start with 50 grams and you work your way up from there. I know that having done this before, that my casein protein powder is going to need 60 grams of the almond milk. That's what I'm gonna put in here. But if you're using a different type of casein powder than I have, I recommend you just add it in slow and I'll show you the consistency that you're looking for. And that's definitely what you're gonna to wanna to go with for this recipe specifically. And once you have both of those in there, just give it a quick mix to disperse the Greek yogurt a little bit with the almond milk. Now we're going to combine the two, putting our dry ingredients right into the wet ingredients right away, one batch only. Here we go. Then you just want to mix together the wet and dry ingredients very carefully until you get them well combined. Well combined. 
And this is yet again another fine example as to why you want to mix until you think you've mixed enough and then mix some more. Your casein protein powder is going to absorb differently depending on the brand that you're using, but you definitely want to make sure that you do not add too much moisture to this. You do want a pretty thick dough here. That's what you want because we're going to be rolling this dough up and if it's too soupy, it ain't gonna roll. So this is the type of consistency that you're looking for here. It should be a little bit challenging to push the spoon through the dough and that's when you know you have the right consistency. It's going to be a very sticky dough, but of course we have a solution for that as we get to forming our cinnamon rolls. Next step is to start forming the cinnamon roll on a piece of parchment paper. You're gonna wanna have two of these ready to go. You wanna shape them out so that they fit into the basket of your air fryer. What you're gonna do next is take your ball of dough Put it right in the center of your parchment paper. And then you're gonna use your hands to kind of shape it into a long rectangle. And let's cue up the Mr. Miyagi reference here. This dough is very, very sticky. You're definitely gonna to wanna to put something on your hands, whether it be this, flour, whatever method you have to keep the stickiness off of them. That's what you're gonna to wanna to do. As everybody knows by now, I like to use nonstick cooking spray. High capacity nonstick cooking spray loaded. Fire away. Typically how you would do cinnamon rolls is that you would roll them out with a rolling pin. We're skipping that step here, trying to make it nice and easy. It is a single serving, so it's not too hard to do, but you wanna spread out your dough into a long rectangle like I mentioned by pressing down and out, and of course shaping it. We wanna go a little bit longer than say we did for our strawberry strudel because we are gonna roll this up and get three cinnamon rolls out of it. So we wanna make it nice and long, try to get it as thinned out as you can as you stretch it out across your parchment paper. Try to have the width as even as possible so you get nice even rolls. If not, no problem. Trust me, I've done it a few times. They taste just as good if they don't look good. They always taste good. That part is guaranteed. And as you can see, even with the nonstick cooking spray, you still do get a little bit dirty. And just for reference, this is what my dough looks like up close. You can see I have a nice long rectangle here. You can see that there is as thick as it should be. You get it looking like this or close to it and you're good to go. So next, you just wanna move your dough out of the way. Get yourself a small bowl. We're gonna make the filling that's gonna go into the cinnamon roll next. Starting out here, we're gonna use 25 grams of our sugar-free, calorie-free syrup. 25 grams on the money. Then we need two more grams of the ground cinnamon. Cinnamon was fighting me a little bit coming out, but finally got it, two grams in. And our last ingredient for the filling is going to be 12 grams of our Swerve Granular, or any zero calorie sweetener. And once you have those three ingredients in there, you just gotta mix them up. Mix them up well, and that's the filling that you should have, this type of consistency here. We are good to go. Time to put this onto our dough and roll it up. and you just wanna disperse your filling all the way around the piece of dough, leaving just a little bit on the edge that doesn't have any on there, just so we get as little overspill, I guess you could call it, as possible as we start to roll this up. So there is a technique to rolling up the cinnamon rolls. It's not that complicated. Basically, we're using the parchment paper because we don't want the other side to stick. This dough is very sticky. So what we're gonna do here is you're gonna pick up your parchment paper, Bring it forward with the dough, put your fingertips on the bottom. Other hand, you're gonna slide and roll very carefully, very gently, the first end. And then continue going forward with the parchment paper. Lifting the dough off the parchment paper as you go. See there, it's starting to roll up. That's what we want. Nice and slow, we don't wanna lose any of our dough. Lifting up as we go, put your hand underneath right at where the roll starts. Gently push with the other hand and keep rolling until you get to the end. Once you get to the end of your parchment paper, your dough should be completely rolled up. Now we're going to cut this into three even rolls and we're gonna place them onto a different sheet of parchment paper. You don't have to do that, but I highly recommend that you do. This gets a little bit messy and a little bit wet, and I feel like 
it can affect the cooking process if you leave them on this piece of parchment paper. I'd rather start fresh. You don't have to do it. If you want to save the parchment paper, you can get away with using the same one, but I don't recommend it. There you have your three cinnamon rolls ready to go into the air fryer. They're not gonna look pretty. They're still gonna bake up the same way and look just like cinnamon rolls when they come out. Right here you're wondering, it looks like I just have three clumps of dough, but they're gonna come out of the air fryer looking and more importantly, tasting like delicious anabolic cinnamon rolls. So our next step is you wanna make sure you preheat your air fryer to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 degrees Celsius for at least five minutes. After that, we're gonna pop them in there and you're gonna cook them from seven to nine minutes. Check them along the way. Every air fryer is gonna cook them up a little bit different, so make sure that you're watching it. Definitely check it at the seven minute mark. If they're cooked through, you're good to go. If they need a little bit longer, that's okay. Just make sure you check. You don't want these to burn. They're way too delicious to waste. Just took the cinnamon rolls out of the air fryer. We're gonna let them cool for a couple minutes. Then I'm gonna transfer them over onto our wire rack that you can see in the back there. Gonna let them cool pretty much all the way through. Then we're gonna add on our icing. Then it's over to the taste test table. While the cinnamon rolls are finishing up the cooling process, we're gonna get our icing or glaze ready to go. Very simple, we've made this one in the past. We're gonna be doing 15 grams of our Swerve confectioners, just enough almond milk to get the appropriate consistency, and then we're gonna put in a few drops of our vanilla extract just to kind of negate that cooling sensation that we usually get if we just use the Swerve confectioners. Makes it taste more like an authentic icing or glaze. So let's get it going here. First up, we're gonna do one tablespoon or 15 grams of the Swerve Confectioners. Next up, we need just enough, and I do mean just enough of our almond milk. Add less than last time. We want it to even be a little bit thicker than we made it for our blueberry fritters, which if you haven't checked out that recipe, you totally should. It is fantastic. But let's get back to this one, adding in less almond milk than last time. I'll stir it up and I'll show you the consistency that we're looking for. So you can see here, it's kind of hard to tell, but that consistency that you want is a little bit thicker than your typical donut glaze. These are going over our cinnamon roll, so we don't want it to drip all the way off the sides and to the bottom. But this is what you're looking for here, this type of consistency. Now we just need to add in a few drops of our vanilla extract. We can head over to the cinnamon rolls that are done cooling by now. Get this on there, then it's over to the taste test table. back at the taste test table yet again to try a magnificent recipe. I hope you get to try it. It is so good. Such a simple way to make a quick single serving version of cinnamon rolls. Let's get right into it here. With no further ado, we're gonna drop ourselves right into the middle of all three of these cinnamon rolls under 300 calories here, more than 20 grams of protein total. Just a simple recipe to put together to get a quick snack in. There's not gonna be any opportunity for you to overeat on this one. Once these are gone, they're gone. You're gonna be satisfied and ready to get on to the next meal. No problem at all. Not gonna feel hungry. Definitely not after having this here. Let's take a close up look of the one right here to the right, give you a view of that. You can see the icing on there covers the entire cinnamon roll. You can see that cinnamon goodness that's in the roll right in there. So, so freaking good. But that's enough talking about it. Let's jump right in and try it. Here we go. First bite, best bite, always don't care what you say. Let's do it. Surprise, surprise, it's good. <laughs> I already knew that. Obviously I've had them before. Such a good recipe. Tastes just like an actual cinnamon roll. These are probably just as good as the cinnamon rolls that I did in a previous recipe that allows you to meal prep them out for the entire week. That one is a little bit more involved. 
you do get more cinnamon rolls out of it. These are pretty much spot on here. I'd say definitely eight and a half out of 10 easily. No problem there. You do wanna be mindful of the cooking time when you're making these, about seven to nine minutes. Seven minutes, they're probably gonna be pretty well done regardless of your air fryer, but definitely check them when you take them out. If they're still a little undercooked, especially on the bottom, you just gotta pop them back in there for one or two minutes longer and you should be good to go. No problem there. If you wanted to make these in the oven, all you would have to do is increase the temperature by 25 degrees Fahrenheit or about five degrees Celsius. That'll give you the right cooking temperature and then add on about three to six more minutes checking along the way just to see where you're at in terms of how they're cooking up you don't want to burn them obviously so definitely check it after the three minute mark if you're putting these in a conventional oven but simplest way easiest way is going to be to use an air fryer but i do understand not everybody has one so that's my tip there. These taste incredible. The glaze is perfect. I really think that that makes it more of an authentic tasting cinnamon roll. In my other cinnamon roll recipe, I used a protein powder as part of the icing. That works really well too, and it's great to add more protein into the recipe. Not really necessary here in this case. We're already well over 20 grams of protein for the whole snack. And I think this icing here with the swerve almond milk and vanilla extract gives it more of an authentic tasting cinnamon roll flavor. Just went through a couple trial and error doing that. Did try it with the casein protein powder with some whey protein powder. Didn't really taste as good, I didn't think, as with the icing. If you wanted to give that a try, would definitely be a way to up the protein count even more. But I don't think it's necessary in this case. We were looking for a quick snack, something to have single serving, good to go. Definitely gonna be super filling, super satisfying, and it tastes great. You do get a well-balanced cinnamon roll with the ingredients that we put in. It's just enough to give you that authentic flavor. Obviously, there's plenty of cinnamon in there between the filling and what we put in the dough. You get a perfect amount of sweetness balanced out with your zero calorie or sugar-free syrup. Definitely not gonna be suffering in any way on a sweetness perspective on this one. If you like sweet, you're gonna love these cinnamon rolls. And just like that, one of them's gone, but the good news is we still got two to go let's go with the front one next so this is where we would cue the i've only had one cinnamon roll and i'm starting to feel full line <laughs> but it's true i am starting to feel a little bit full after that first cinnamon roll now am i stuffed no but you don't want to be gorged and stuffed after this trust me by the time i finish these two i'm not going to want anything to eat after that not only is there going to probably be a little bit of flavor fatigue because there is still a good amount here especially having three cinnamon rolls in a sitting but you're also between the protein count between the fiber count there's just no way you're going to be hungry after having these it's virtually impossible <laughs> the most important part about this recipe is that it's pretty quick to put together it's a single serving so there's not going to be any binging involved you're going to have it you're going to be done that's going to be it the texture the flavor the macros all on point i'll flash up the macros here so we can take a look as you can see, over 20 grams of protein, almost 30 grams of protein, four grams of fiber. Those two factors alone are gonna help you feel full and satisfied. There's really not much else to say about these other than that they're absolutely delicious. <laughs> if you do end up trying these, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear how they turned out for you, but it's gonna be about that time. I gotta get up out of here, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye.